And uh, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and pray, and then uh, thank you for coming. Jesus, we thank you for today. I thank you for uh, what you're going to do in this release party. I thank you for what you're going to do with this song. Yes. Lord, we just pray it would touch so many lives. Yes, Jesus. Um, Lord, people that even that we never meet in, in other countries, other nations, God, as we connect languages together. Lord, I pray this song would be uh, for such a time as this, God, where, where we could say we're we're, we're having more love, no fear. And uh, Lord, we're stepping out. We're, we're, we're uh, the record label, even just excited about this new um, people dancing in a moment where a lot of people are crying, people finding joy through this song, God. And we, we thank you for it. This is your song and we give it to you. Pray to heal people, pray it, bring a uh, new, new wholeness to people's lives. And uh, Lord, just give them yes. a break from the chaos and from the in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Um, well, Ben, I'll let you take over or whoever's next. Um, we're gonna, we have a lot of cool things for you tonight. Maybe Ben, you can kind of let them know some of the stuff that we're going to do tonight. Yeah, definitely. How's everybody doing? We're doing good. Yeah. We're excited about the release. Uh, now we're going to go into something super exciting. Uh, we have pretty much all of our songwriters for this song, Moss Amore, in this Zoom call right now. And Sam is going to be interviewing everybody. Say what's up, Sam. What is up? Take over. It's all you now. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm so excited to have everyone here and to have all the incredible writers of this awesome song in one place. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. We have a couple questions for them. Um, so yeah, Pastor Jeremy, I'll ask you the first question. So uh, this song, Masa More, is different than anything we've heard before from Fearless b &D. So why was it important to you to combine uh, different languages for the song? And what was your initial thought process going into it? Uh, yeah, Sam. Well, I mean, I, we kind of, this song kind of came through, um, I think just, um, just a passion for our um, Hispanic people in our church and in our city. Um, I think a lot of times, uh, you know, which is really cool. People write songs in English and then they translate them in Spanish and people love that. Um, and I, and I love that too, when we do that, but I just thought, man, if that was my first language, I wouldn't want it to be translated. Cause that kind of feels like a secondary thought. Um, what if someone actually wrote a song with, with me in mind and my, um, a language that hit my heart in a different way. And so, um, for a lot of the Hispanics in our church, they speak English. Um, but they also love Spanish because it's their native language and something in their heart when they, at least from what they've told me, I'm not, I don't speak Spanish uh, very well, but no, something in their he's, heart. <laughs> he's bilingual, you guys. Bilingual. If you've seen my Snapchats, you know. And you see um, his Instagram. He's oh, yeah. Fluent. Fluent. I'm also a banana, according to Christie's. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we've been on lockdown. But anyways, I just felt like... Um, we needed to write a song that that um, captured that from the the younger Hispanics in our church that there was something in that and uh, and so yeah that we that's where where the the passion to write a bilingual song came from and um, from a lot of our friends all over the world that we meet Colombia Puerto Rico um, Costa Rica you know Mexico uh, we wanted something that connects to them and can um, can connect us and so. Uh, when when we started writing this, we reached out to our friend Eunice, who I met on a speaking engagement, and Eunice is in here with us. I, I just I, we went to her dad's church, we spoke, and and uh, she led worship that night, and she just blew us away at the call of God on her life yeah. and the gift um, that she is to the body of Christ. And I just I reached out to her. I said, Eunice, you know, we need your help. We we have the melody, we have the idea but we, we don't speak Spanish. And we have a lot of people in our church that spoke Spanish, but I really felt like I was supposed to reach out to Eunice. And she came right back with these cool words. And I didn't even know half of what she was saying, but it lined up exactly with what, what we had envisioned. And so, um, yeah, so that's why, Sam. Well, that's awesome. And you also answered my next question uh, about how, you know, we have amazing collaborators on this song. We have Eunice and we have MS Sound. Um, so you kind of explained already how that came to be, their relationship and how they got to work on this, which is incredible. Um, but no, we're, we're so excited to have Eunice in the chat. And this one, this question is actually for you, Eunice. Um, so I understand that, you know, the writing process for this song was a little bit different. Um, 
you know, instead of translating English lyrics into Spanish, uh, you wrote Spanish lyrics from the start. Um, is this different from how you usually write songs? Is it pretty similar? Or if it is different, how, what was that like? And how is this collaboration process for you in general from your perspective? Yeah, well, first of all, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be a part of of Fearless LA and what you guys are doing through music and worship. So thank you, Pastor Jeremy and, and just the team, everyone, um, for the opportunity. I'm, I'm so grateful for it. Uh, honestly, I, I feel like it's pretty similar to just any other, um, any other song that I've written because I wrote it in, in Spanish. And so all of the music that I typically write is in Spanish and is for Latin America. Um, and I, I record in Spanish and write in Spanish. And so everything's pretty much in Spanish. So the only difference was um, that I was given the track and the music, like already, like they gave me a beat and a sound. And so I just went based on that. And then they gave me like, hey, this is kind of the idea we have for the song. We want to talk about this. And so, I mean, pretty much just said, okay, cool, you know, and obviously just seeing what you guys are doing as Fearless LA and you guys speak so much about being fearless. And, um, and so I just, I loved being able to connect, you know, the love of God and being fearless and how his love for us is, is exactly that. And so um, it wasn't very different, but it was a, it was a great experience. I loved being able to, um, to collaborate with the other people that have also been a part of this song. But yeah, I loved, I loved the experience. It, it was different only because I would say it's the first song that I write that's in English and Spanish on the same track. Um, all the songs I either like translate to English or um, are recorded in Spanish. And so that was different, but I think it's a vibe. It's definitely oh, a vibe. It's so absolutely. good. And I, I loved it. I loved it. I think it turned out really well. Amazing. Eunice, can you say something in Spanish to all our Hispanics out there about the <laughs> say it in Spanish one time? Something about the song in Spanish to everyone out there that's watching this from some other yeah, country. Of course, of course. Un saludo a todos. Gracias por estar conectados con Fearless LA el día de hoy. Eh, me siento muy honrada y privilegiada de poder formar parte de esta canción. Una colaboradora en la letra de esta canción y estoy agradecida. A Dios por el Pastor Jeremy, su esposa, su familia, a que me han dado esta oportunidad de poder formar parte de esta canción. Y bueno, esta canción habla de más amor y tener menos temor, poner el temor en las manos de Dios y abrazar el amor de Dios en nuestras vidas. Es una canción que tiene eh, mucha energía, es muy buena la canción, así es que se las recomiendo. Y espero que sigan sintonizados con Fearless LA y el ministerio en español que tienen allí en esa iglesia. Así es que un saludo a todos. Wow, thank you. <laughs> awesome, so cool. <laughs> um, all right, Emma Sound, we have Emma Sound in the chat. Uh, he is a world renowned DJ. If you don't know, he's incredibly talented. Um, so this one's for Emma. First, where are you from? Like, where are you from? Hey, guys. Yeah. My name is Emma Sound from Guatemala City. Uh, and I'm very excited uh, tonight. Awesome. We're so excited to have you here um, and have you <laughs> collaborate on the song. It's incredible. Um, a question for you is, you know, Pastor Jeremy pulled you in to help writing the song and you completely changed the sound and the original drums um, that he sent you. So tell us how you came up with that new direction for Massamore. And uh, Sway, you'll have to translate to Emma. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. El Pastor Jeremy Gracias. te pidió ayuda para escribir esta canción y cambiaste completamente el sonido de la batería original. Uh, cuéntanos cómo se te ocurrió esa nueva dirección. Bueno, el Pastor Jeremy está eh, tan, tan emocionado de sacar una canción en, en español. Uh, Pastor Jeremy was so excited to, to release a song in Spanish. Y, y él quería como tener ese sabor latino en, en la canción. El, el problema de él era es que yo soy americano y eh, no tengo ese sabor latino que ustedes tienen. 
Cuando él me, cuando él me presentó la canción, eh, eh, sonaba, sonaba muy, 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 muy electrónica, muy electrónico. Uh, él me presentó la canción y él quería tener un sabor latino y él me dijo, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say it in English. So he, uh, so when he released the song, when he asked me, sorry, I'm so used to that, uh, did it in Spanish. So when he uh, showed me the song, he wanted a Latin flavor so bad, uh, but he said that uh, it sounded too American. And then when I heard the song, uh, it just had this, it was really electronic. Let's see. Y es eh, eh, ahí que yo estaba, eh, he estado trabajando con gente eh, latina que hace lo que es reggaetón y, y tropical house. Eh, en ese momento eh, escuché la canción y dije, eh, le falta algo, algo tal vez es muy pequeño, es muy, muy poco, pero eh, esto, esto, las percusiones son como importantes en, en, en una canción latina porque te hace mover. Eh, eh, el ritmo te cautiva desde un inicio. La letra puede ser eh, una herramienta, pero el ritmo en, en lo que hablamos en respecto a música latina es si te, si te hace mover, eh, a la gente le va a gustar. So, at that time, I was working with uh, artists that um, write reggaeton and they write tropical house and um, just the drums, uh, the way I was thinking about it, it, it had, it needed this sound, uh, this, this very, um, type of, of sound in the drums and the the lyrics are important especially for us Lat latinos the lyrics are important but but the music something about the percussion the percussions when you hear it it has to kind of make you move a little bit desde un inicio eh, yo fui a, a, a los angeles eh, de forma inesperada el pastor no creía que yo iba a llegar eh, para que sepan un poquito, yo fui en enero de, del año pasado eh, con mis propios recursos. Eh, creo que Dios ya me había hablado de poder apoyar a la iglesia eh, con, con mi talento, con lo que yo sabía hacer. Y en ese momento fue cuando eh, me presentaron todo el proyecto, eh, incluyendo esta canción. Eh, me tomó un par de, de días poder agarrarle forma y sentió la canción. Um, from the start, I went to LA in a way that was really hard, and I went with, with without any funds that I had. And when I got there, the first couple of days, they, they presented this project to me, and I felt that God had called me to LA for a reason, and um, and that's why. Dios hace conexiones. Dios hace conexiones. Thank you, bro. We love you. Thank you. Que eso es muy importante. De verdad, las conexiones. Come on, thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. You are amazing. All right, the next <laughs> question is for Tay Tay. Come on. Um, so, come on, Tay. Uh, obviously, we all know you are an insanely skilled rapper, uh, super talented, but this is the first time you know you're rapping in Spanish, which is a, a language that you don't necessarily speak. Um, so, uh, are Except there any ways area. other than. Yeah, true. <laughs> Except for here. Come on now. Are there any other ways other than the obvious language barrier that this was more challenging than other songs that you've rapped on? And how is it learning Spanish for this song? Yeah, so for me, the most important thing, definitely because I don't speak Spanish, was to make sure that the pronunciation was correct and to make sure that it, I didn't sound like I was forcing it to sound like I was Spanish speaking. Um, that, that translated correctly. Um, and then also to make sure that whatever I was saying in English lined up with what was being said in Spanish so it wasn't two conflicting ideas. So yeah, that was definitely the hardest part of it um, and then making it sound natural. Yeah, yeah, totally. Awesome. Um, and then this next question is for Pastor Christy. Um, you are an incredible just just world-class worship leader. Um, we all know this and a songwriter and just an incredible artist. And this is the first single that you've recorded in a completely different language. Oh, yeah. And yeah, and I know that you don't speak Spanish. So tell oh, us what it was yeah. like. 
I girl, you killed it. <laughs> Tell us what it was like to, to sing in a language. How did you do it? You know, it's surprising to me, though, because, you know, as long as I've sang and led worship um, and written with our band, we had never written a Spanish song. So I'm honored that we could respect the Hispanic community and our brothers and sisters who are Hispanic. And we have so many in our city, so many in our, our church community. So I was, I was excited, um, but... I have to give credit to Eunice, my girl Eunice, because I was very nervous about recording it. It's one thing about singing at church and everyone's forgiving and they're all lifting their hands and worshiping and closing their eyes and the spirit of God takes them away and they don't hear my pronunciation, but I'm getting in a studio and then everything is clear. So Eunice, um, we had Eunice get on the phone in the studio with me and Taylor and she was on the phone and speaker and then I would sing and I'd be like, did I say that right? And she go, you did so good. But I go, no, 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 did, well, did it sound right? She goes, no. And so I just kept redoing it. Um, me and Taylor kept doing it until she said, oh, that sounds great. That sounds good. So it was, it, was a, um, it was a team effort, and it was fun to do. And I just want to do more of it. I love it. I love that we can bring in other cultures and communities. And so we're going to continue to do this. But it's fun. And um, also his skills have helped as well, um, brushed me up on some Spanish too. So it was <laughs> Awesome. Yes. 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 He's he's a Spanish teacher in the house for sure. <laughs> of course. Awesome. I love it. Love Doctor. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna wrap this up. We have one more question uh, for you, Pastor, and it's a two-parter. So, um, you know, Masa More is the first single off of the new album, Fear Not, and we're all so excited for it. What drove you to release it as the first single? Um, and the song has been in the works for a little while. We've been working on it for a minute, um, but we chose to release it now. So yeah. what is the main takeaway you want people to have after listening to it, given the current state of our world right now? Well, you know, uh, it was, it, honestly, the record label are, are, are the ones who chose it. I mean, we, we, we stand by every single song that we wrote for this record. We think that any of them could say to our world, fear not. You know, um, there's so many great songs, 13 other songs that we've wrote from the, from really, we feel like from, for us, for the throne room of God, you know, it may sound like current drums or a different, a rap in it, but we really feel like that's our call to present um, God in a creative way and who he is and how much he loves. And so, you know, the record label chose this, the guy, the, the crew, um, it's our first time on this record label, Tooth and Nail BEC. We're really excited to have um, their partnership, but they just fell in love with the song. Um, and they just said, at first it was like, I don't know if we should come out with this first because we're, after this, we don't have any more Spanish songs, you know, or Hispanic, uh, you know, Spanish speaking songs. Um, and even today we had the conversation, if this takes off, we might have to do another, uh, another song uh, that has some more of this in it. Um, or translate a song that we already have on the album, Fear Not, or uh, At Your Name, um, you know, but uh, I think th I think what the record label's take was on this is right now, you know, we have a lot of great slow songs on the album that really could just hit people in a certain place within their heart of worship, um, but they wanted to come out with this fast song first, and I think the, the, the take on it from them was uh, that people need to have joy right now. They need to dance. They need to laugh. They need to uh, cast off for strength and um, they just really feel like a lot of people are coming out with um, you know songs to to empower them but we needed to empower them in a different way and that this song was a global song because of its language it has two languages in it and so I think that was the heart behind it from from the record label and um, you know why we we were like okay we, we're excited about that in fact the next couple of singles are are really a lot of a lot more a couple of more fast songs and I think um, at first I was opposed to it because I was like, no, we need to release a slow song. We need to give them, you know, fear not. We need to give them at your name. And the record label was just really had this push. We'll do whatever you want, what, you know, whatever we want as a church. But their push was, man, we just feel some kind of life in these songs that really uh, could inject life into our world that right now, when you turn on the news, obviously it's it's just dark. It's depressing. And, um, we need to laugh. We need to smile. We need to have some kind of rhythm that takes us away from, um, the picture that, that is at hand and gives us a new vision that God, God is still calling us to, to more love, more love, no fear. And, and it's, it's really our statement. You see that on the back of our shirts, love more, 
fearless, right? Every, every week we are fearless. That's, that's what we say every week. And so here's the, here's the words, more love, no fear. And now we're singing it again, more love, no fear. Um, and then even the music video, we had to change it up. You'll, you'll, you've seen it already on YouTube. Um, but we had to add a, a, an ending to it because when we made the music video, we weren't in this crisis. We were, we were able to shake hands and hug and high five. And even in the music video, you see one of our guys handing someone a hot dog. I mean, that would just, you would get arrested for that right now or, or holding someone's hand that's homeless and praying. We weren't going to release the music video because we felt like, is it insensitive to the times we're in? But then we got this idea. Why don't we just show that this is what we made. This is, this is where we were at, but let's also show uh, that now we're reaching our city in a new way and we didn't stop loving. We're just doing it different. And so right now we're going out with mask on and, and giving out groceries. And in fact, just our family tonight, we groceried our whole um, hall. We, we get groceries in from fearless and we just went to every, every house on our, uh, in our, um, you know, hallway knocked on the door and, and gave people groceries and invited them to our Sunday service. And so, you know, what greater song than saying more love, no fear. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's so good. Um, so thank you so much to our incredible panel. I hope you guys all enjoyed the Q and a, um, and yeah, we'll throw it back to you pastor. Awesome, guys. Well, Hey, you know where to find the actual music video on YouTube. Uh, share it with somebody with 10 people send it to somebody that needs some joy in their house um, thank you so much for joining us tonight and uh, we don't want to take any more of your time but thank you for celebrating what God's doing inside of our house hopefully you can take this song and spread it in your world and spread some joy and uh, we're thankful for your support and your love and uh, hey we're all in this together and uh, but God God is greater than this coronavirus it's not going to end uh, with gloom and doom because hope is alive, and he is the fearless one. And so we love you guys. God bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful love night. You. Love, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.